All right, hey guys. So this is going to be an unboxing and review of the of the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition, or I think it's Limited Edition, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, you might be thinking, well, if you're doing that, what are you doing with a copy of Demon's Souls Deluxe Edition and The Last of Us Ellie Edition? Well, I'm a big fan of the Souls series of games from, from software, and I knew I was going to get Dark Souls 2 when it came out, and when they announced a collector's edition, or should that be limited edition, I decided, yeah, why not, I'll, I'll get it. And it looked particularly awesome. Now, I ordered it from Amazon, and Amazon were charging roughly around what they were charging for for The Last of Us, um, this version. And, you know, usually like your M, they were charging around what they usually charge for a collector's or special edition of a video game. So I figured, I was going to get something that looked, you know, kind of like this, roughly this size, that thickness, and the statue slash figurine was probably going to be a figure about this big. The art book would be in there, the map would be in there, and the game. And you, you know the kind, something, something kind of like that. Nothing too extravagant. If you've seen the um, Duke Nukem Forever Collector's Edition, you know, the one that comes with like a, the bust thing that I think's about, you know, that big, something like that. And when they announced it, they didn't give any measurements or dimensions of the, of the actual statue slash figurine. So I didn't really know what I was getting. And then the post came. Okay, so then I was thinking, wow, Amazon have really, really overdone the packaging. I was expecting it to be, you know, kind of like, like that, just as sitting, sitting in there. Yeah, I was quite spectacularly wrong with that. Okay, that thing is quite huge. Yeah. Um, I was not expecting this. I was genuinely shocked when I saw this. I didn't think it was, uh, well, going to be that big at all. I didn't even think it was going to be half that size. Um, Alright, what I'm going to do first is take off this plastic thing because it's really badly reflecting the camera. Um, the only other thing that's on the back of this is um, some screenshots that are printed onto the plastic thing and go beyond death, a little blurb on the box. Uh, this, actually, um, this plastic thing that's around it, I don't like it because um, it doesn't fit very well at all. It's way too big for the actual box, so when you grab the plastic, you lift it up, it doesn't actually take the box as well. Um, if you've seen uh, my Sonic Generations Collector's Edition video, you'll see it, you'll notice that have one has a plastic outer shell and it fits far better than this one does. So yeah, that's one thing about this I don't like. That's just that thing's way too big. Alright then, so this is the, yeah, this is it. Um, so we take a look inside it. Okay, and the first thing we get is something that I wasn't expecting. It's some kind of demon, I think, holding a big pointy stick. Yeah, the skeleton looky looking demon dude with spikes all over his body and stuff hanging down and gross. And it's a metal tin plate thing, and it actually says Dark Souls Limited, Dark Souls 2 Limited Edition number 695 of 2500. And uh, we've got the printed signature from Yuri uh, Tanimura, Tanimura, or is it Tanimara? Tanimura, Mr. Yuri, Yui, I don't know, leave me alone. Okay, and then we get this. And uh, what's this? Well, this is actually a, this is the cloth map. Now, I have already opened this, so, any luck, it shouldn't be too tricky. So yeah, the yes, it's just a fabricy cloth map of what I presume is the the world you'll be doing your souls in. And yeah, it just looks like an old map, really. Um, you can't really make out the names of anything. I mean, it says Dark Soul, it says Dark Souls Two down here, but. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what the names of these places were. I'm guessing it, they're not, it's not supposed to be used for navigation, obviously. It's literally just like a, a display piece, I think. Um, 
yeah, we got some kind of church here with a big bull looking thing, and uh, we've got some sort of skeleton thing. And dragons! Yes, you need dragons. So yeah, it's just a little map, and the material feels... I don't want to say like silk, it's not. Um, it's... Mm, it doesn't feel too nice, but yeah, it's kind of silky, but it isn't silk. Anyway, move on to the next thing. And the next thing, ooh, it's the game. Oh, yes, and it comes in a steel book with a scary looking knight dude on the front and on the back. Okay, um, I'll open, have a look in that one in a little bit later. Okay. Try and get this out without destroying everything. All right. And the next thing we get is the art book, and yes, it's just a standard art book. Well, it's a hardcover at least. It's um, I don't really go too crazy on these art books. You know, if you know me by now, I like ones that actually have some kind of annotations in them. Uh, we got a cat because cats, and and the dog, um, goblin dog, <laughs> dog. I really shouldn't look through this because I haven't actually played the game yet. Well, not very much anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to flip through. It's just your standard art book really. You know, there's nothing too exciting there. Alright then, let's get to the main star of the event. If I can get this out without wrecking it. This isn't going to be easy. Mainly because there's tape all the way around it that I've forgotten about. Okay. Yeah. So here he is. Again, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what his name is, if he has one. Um, I don't know what, what do you reckon I should call him. I kind of want to call this sort of like Igor or Gregor or something like that. Something with or in. All right then. So this um, is one pretty fine-looking statue. I've got to say, um, it's very light. The base is like a hollow plastic, and the actual guy himself is made up of some kind of some kind of plastic as well. You know, it's not pot or. Um, I should see this up. Is it resin or something that they use? Anyway, you know, you know, kind. Yeah, it's um, definitely a plastic statue, but I'm actually pretty impressed with it considering what I paid for this. Um, there are some obvious problems, like um, there's paint errors here where it's sort of where the white. Just kind of, if I bring it close, you might see where the white hasn't isn't showing up very well on the green. But yeah, you won't really notice that from a distance. I don't think there's like a small chip there as well. But, yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with it, considering how much I paid for it. Um, I think maybe if I had paid the full what game we're charging, then I might be a little bit disappointed. But because I paid the Amazon price, I'm more than happy. Okay, so let's put the swords in. Oh yeah, this is something that um, I was not... I was a bit... How does this work when I first got it? Um, I took the swords out. And they don't go in his hands. They don't go in, and then I notice that the bottom thing comes off. So yeah, clever. Yeah, because I was just about to go on the from software forums and say, "Oh, what do you mean the saturation's like?" But no, no, they fit, and it looks pretty badass. I got to say. All right then. So yeah, there he is. You're all right. So there is Gregor. Gregor is ready. Do that with your souls. Give me your souls. Souls. Yes. All right then. So yeah, um, that's what he looks like. Um, I think when you put him out on display, and um, you know, at a distance, he'd look pretty cool. And um, when you look up close, you can see that it isn't the finest paint job in the world, and it's not the finest quality, but. At a distance, that looks pretty awesome. Um, the base is a bit, yeah. What is he standing on? It looks like um, I don't know um, 
crush your Mars bars, I think. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he he looks pretty cool otherwise, and I, I do really like it. Um, I'm just really surprised. I was not expecting this at all. I thought the statue might, I don't know, be from, say, say the top of the base to maybe about, you know, his waist size. I was not expecting something that big. Um, and I'm just really surprised at it. And again, um, I know that a lot of people might have ordered this from Game or Shop 2, but I got this from Amazon and they were not charging anywhere near as much. It was barely the price of, it was, well, it was slightly more expensive than a, than the actual game was. And I'll just show you inside the, um, inside the game now I've got it. Okay, so here's the game. Yep. Oh, wobbly, wobbly sword. <laughs> yeah, I've taken out the downloadable codes because I want them. And yeah, we've got a copy of the game there. And, aha, figurine instructions. Ah. Uh, and we got the manual. Oh yeah, something I've been wondering. Um, is it true that in the normal versions of the game, or at least in the American versions of the game, there is no manual with this? Because with this you get kind of an extensive manual. Yeah, it's only a couple of pages, because don't forget this is in multiple languages. But yeah, you get what I would probably expect from a modern day manual this, this day. I'm kind of disappointed it's not like an Atlas manual, you know, in full color with lots of detail. But still pretty cool, and of course you get the Dark Souls 2 original soundtrack. So yeah, you can be there killing demons, and then when you, I don't know, out on the road or you're going somewhere, you can be slaying more demons as you listen to the funky beats of the Dark Souls 2 soundtrack. Okay then, so yeah, I think just to wrap up now, um, what do I think of this? Uh, how does it compare to the original Dark Souls Collector's Edition? There is absolutely no contest. This is better. Yeah, it, it's so much better. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with the original Dark Souls Collector's Edition because they changed so many of the pre-order bonuses to digital codes and I was kind of worried that they would do the same with this thing, but yeah, this is very surprising. <laughs> I just really wasn't expecting this at all. It's a one hell of a collector's edition piece. Um, should you buy it? Well, if you can still find a copy, um, if you can find one at the prices Amazon were charging, definitely go for it. Um, the ones game were charging, probably not. I don't know. It depends how big of a fan you are of the series, because it, it, I don't think it is worth as much as what game were charging for. But it is still one hell of a collector's edition. If you're a big fan of the Soul series, yeah, it's a must-have. Although, if you are thinking about really splashing the cash, I would probably consider trying to import the Japanese version of this, which actually comes with a casket that's full of replica swords and shields. Oh, I really want that. But no, this is um, this is quite awesome, and it's it's really cool, and I definitely do recommend it. As for the game itself. I haven't actually played much of it, and um, no, this video is um, should hopefully be uploaded roughly around the same time I actually filmed it. So yeah, it's been out for about two, three weeks now. I haven't played it much of it because I just haven't had time. And um, from what I have seen, it, it's okay um, so far. It's kind of all right. There is a noticeable graphics downgrade, and if you have been watching the trailers and looking at screenshots of it you might be a bit disappointed because the way they sold the game doesn't really look like it does in the final product. If you are thinking about picking up the game I would probably hold off a bit just in case the PC version ends up being the godly saviour that we want it to be or they do a Tomb Raider and announce a definitive edition which I suspect they will do with this. But otherwise, if you can find one and you really want it, I would definitely go for it. Okay guys, um, thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, don't think there's anything else to say on this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and hope to see you again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, puny humans. <laughs>